Good everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully I am on time. I was just quickly hurrying and saying goodnight to my daughter and we're hopefully back on now. Hope you guys are hearing me fine there and have a good night and or daytime if you guys are there. So it's good to see you guys all. Uh, quite a lot happening on my side of things. A uh, lot of, lot of tools. Uh, but I did start off the stream and I said this was going to be about my ideas of the Dell Precisions because I've kind of pretty much got most of the range with me here at the moment. So uh, first off, I'd like to just tell you guys that I'll start the Q&A a little bit later on, but as you shoot through the questions i will be answering them as well too all right uh this just arrived this afternoon which is probably my last position that finally arrived which i was waiting for uh so this one here is the dell position 7560 so that's last of the positions hopefully that's to arrive so that's good to see <laughs> g'day dive man and g'day andy how thank you and siba as well too nice to see you guys on the live chat as well too so that's my last uh position so i've pretty much got the full range the only one i have not ordered in and i haven't actually requested yet is the position 3561 uh, i've got the 3560 which i should have put the review out i just have not had time to edit it. uh so that's all been taped and stuff like that so yeah so the one that i've just shown this box here uh this one is the 7560 uh so i've already done the unboxing for so which one's this one this is the 5560 here i'll talk to you about each one of the as um on the live stream just to give you a, a quick idea of what i've been finding between the weird things about it um so the 7760 is here and uh where is the other one the shoe i'm just gonna bring it back out uh this one here at the moment testing which is the 70 sorry 5760 i've got right here as well too so uh, i've got i've got all the precisions with me i don't have the 3560 with me at the moment it's actually in the, uh, over there all boxed up ready to go back to dell uh, but i can at least talk about it and, and what my experiences are on that one there and g'day alexandra how are you doing welcome to my stream um so first off i like to start off is these two here uh, that i've found uh, so i'll be doing the unboxing of the 7560 tonight uh to film uh so i'll then can be able to have a little start playing with the rest of the other uh positions away so so first off uh this 5560 here uh please also show the 35 unfortunately it's all boxed up uh, i have already filmed it already and it's go it's waiting for me to edit the review i should have edited it so it's it's about I think about 70% edited, uh, but I can at least talk about it, what I thought about it. Um, one thing, I might as well talk about it first because that's one of the easy ones to do. It has a bit of uh, thermal throttling on that one there. Uh, it doesn't have the H-series processor, which is very interesting to see uh, for that one, that computer, particular computer. Uh, I think it, I can't remember. I have to look reread uh, my notes in a way. Uh, but at the moment, I do see it. I think it was about 15-minute mark. It started throttling quite quite a bit uh, and I think I'm going to talk to Dell about trying to get a BIOS update on that one there uh, because that one is a bit worrying for me uh, especially in the precision series but that is also when you're pretty much when I put this computer on stress for the GPU and the CPU together that's when it throttles when you're just doing the CPU only it seems to be okay it seems to be hang on hanging all right uh, but once you kick in the discrete graphics that's when it starts hurting pretty hard um, so that one there i was really surprised because it is still quite a thick um, computer so it should have had be able to handle the thermals uh, a little bit better than i expected but yeah once it actually thermal throttles it can't pretty much recover too far back until you reboot the computer that's that's a bit of a sad thing and that's kind of what i want to talk to dell about maybe doing a bias update to try and fix that out in a way so uh that one there now uh sorry uh this one here which is the 5560 now my experience on this 5560 is it's pretty much like the 55 uh, 50 from last year it has that thermal throttling as well uh, i was hoping they didn't have that 
Uh, I think this one was around about, I rolled it down somewhere. It's around about, I think about, again, I think it was around about the, oh, I think it was around about the five minute mark. It starts throttling. Uh, but it's not as bad as last year where it was throttling down to like 0.4. This one throttles down to about 0.8. <laughs> so only a little bit better, um, but not by much anyway. But, but if you don't, if you don't sustain these computers at those crazy hard speeds now that is when you're hitting the gpu as well if you're just doing hitting the cpu only it's not as bad uh, i think it was around about 1.6 uh it will pretty much stability is about 1.6 uh it, which is not base clock speed because now this one here i've got to the i7 uh as well too uh and it's this one has the quadro t uh, 1200 uh, but if you're just using only the GPU I'm uh, sorry the only the CPU uh, more than likely is you're then okay uh, it's not as bad throttling is bad but still throttles uh, and it has a really interesting cycles on when it throttles uh, I think it goes for about two minutes uh, and then it goes I think if I remember correctly this is this one here uh, and then it goes for about 30 seconds it will recover back to about two gigahertz and then it throttles back down to about oh it's yeah hits about 0.8 uh gigahertz and then it comes back up for about 30 seconds or so but i think i'll just do a video on that you'll see that so that's just my thing so i'm i'm worried still about the throttling and i thought they would have fixed it uh considering i made a video about it to dell and told dell about it so i was just surprised uh they didn't really do too much it is still i guess being thin I, I guess you sacrifice that sort of uh performance for, for nice and light uh, but yeah so but but uh if you're not running these things like hardcore and pretty much sustaining these high burst speeds for then these are fine because the performance of the cpu this tiger h processor is very impressive i am very impressed and this one being the first of the i7s uh, i have the i9 which i'll talk to you about about as well too uh so you guys will because i know a lot of you guys actually have purchasing power and, uh, and decide on the computer so i'm just giving you guys a bit of heads up uh, before these reviews come out because it's going to take me a bit of time for to put the reviews out um for that but i've got a very good general idea anyway so um the i7s seems to be very good um this uh yeah there's this uh precision 75 50, sorry 7560 will have an i7 in that configured as well too so it's not bad this i7 i definitely recommend the i7 so far and i'll just tell you more so i'm going to go down to the 57 ah, 60 this is heavy because i'm still currently um testing this computer i've just got it off in i so this 5760 which Actually, I haven't put the uh, unboxing video because I had to hold it back, and uh, there's actually a reason for the, I've held the back one back in a way. Uh, let me just move this map in because I've got a few things on this desk here, guys. So the 5760. Now this one here comes with a 130 watt power adapter. Uh, this one here is an Ice 9 version with the Quadro, the new Quadro A3000. Yeah, 3000 uh is that the 11 uh so uh, uh good hey aria how are you doing uh, well i've got i've got uh i is arid as well too hey how are you doing as well too uh no so the i7 i got was an i7 11 850 h processor just to let you know um so that should be the, the highest of the i7 processor now this one here is the i9 11 950 h processor and this one here with the a3000 uh, in it so when I unboxed this thing, I saw the 130 watt power adapter. I was a bit shaky about it, uh, and you'll see it in my unboxing video when I release it out. Anyway, so I'm kind of giving you a bit of a spoil alert on this one here, and it's testing. I was actually surprised on the performance. The i7 beats this i7. Uh, sorry, the i7 beats the i9. It's quite simple as that. The i7, uh, yeah, beats the i9. And I think it's to do with the thermal throttling as well too. To, uh, um, that already happens in the i7. So the i9 is no better uh, on this one here. So 
the other thing I found out as well too, and I'm just doing a little bit more intense, uh, more tests on this because I noticed this when I was doing stress tests on this computer. This is actually quite heated up at the moment. Um, so when I was stress testing the computer, I was also noticing in the power for the battery was actually discharging uh, with the power supply that was connected uh, and also when I was connected to the WD19 TB dock as well too it was it was actually discharging the battery um, so I also I was like wow okay why is it discharging the battery because I do run the CPU RAM and hydro and the GPU on load and then I thought all right let's try this with just only the CPU it seems to be okay so I then did it on only the the discrete graphics and that's where it hits. So it looks like when you initiate the discrete graphics, it seems to need more power for it than the 130 watt power adapter. Now I had this in ultra performance mode that I you know, usually runs just to give it the best I you know best benchmarks and all stuff like that. Now when I switch that over to the the normal uh, profile which is usually the optimal profile or better battery life uh, mode sorry not better battery life better battery life mode yeah better battery life mode uh, uh sorry yeah better uh performance mode uh when it's on power it seems to not have that power drain where it's consistently dropping in power uh, i was going okay so when it's an ultra performance mode and it kicks in the graphics that's where this has some issues on this eye so i think i'm going to talk to dell is these really should be shipped with the 180 watt power adapters uh to be able because it can't sustain having 130 watt uh so i was actually plugging in a, a second power adapter so i had the original power adapter that came with this and the wd19 tv dock connected just to try and keep up the charge on this while i was testing this computer just to, you know anyway so anyway uh i was just reading some of these comments here uh yeah it's uh 100 yeah power drain there yeah, cursed power drain drainage yep yeah. i uh, would love have thought a new vapor chain would have improved yeah i was hoping that I don't know if they put a new va improved vapor chamber on this. I haven't read that because um, I just get the quick spec sheet and I'll just and I'll just test it as it is uh, to see if and if it is improved, I'll then go read about it. Um, so that is something I'm very surprised by this new 5000 series for the precisions. I was hoping a little bit better, but I have to say if you're just doing burst speed performance, these two are great. This new I Tiger Lake H processors, I'm loving it. I'm going to tell you they are good and I think you saw that in the quick preview results. I've done a few results. I've done a f running through a fair number of the benchmarks here. Uh, I would it's so much that I should want to get the new AMD um, Ryzen 9 back in uh, because the one I got the Ryzen 9 5980 HS process that was an engineering sample so I would like to see I'm going to ask AMD to get send me another one uh, to have a look at because I like the the scores on this new Tiger Light H process is very impressive it pretty much is on par or sometimes beat it <laughs> so Intel, we've got some competition back in here, which is good. I like that. I like to see that. Anyway, um, oh, while well, I'm reading it is, uh, let's have a look. Now, what is the display? Is it 4K or 3.5K? Now, uh, this one here, which I have the i50, this one, which one? I'm actually not sure. I can't remember which I had these configured. I think I've got the 5560. Is this one a full HD or yeah, this one's a full HD. So 5560 is a full HD version. And I'll find out what's this one. I think this one might be a 4K one. I'll just have a double check the 5760. Uh, I And when I did the testing, I don't even have the screen connected neither because I've got it outputting to a display uh, to my external monitor. So it's not really running that thing there. Uh, let me have a look here, uh, display. Do, 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 do. that's a full hd one too as well so full hd so they're not on 4k one here um so both of them full hds now onto the big beast oh these things are heavy <laughs> um so the 7760 uh i've only had a little quick play with it i haven't had a full massive massive play with this one here uh and i'm really need to let me just move this up across because that's i need to get some room here uh, so this one here is a bit different. This one is the Xeon, uh, of course. 
And I'm going to tell you straight up, this Xeon, this new Xeon is very impressive considering it actually keeps up with the i7. Um, and I would like to see this in i9. Um, but I don't, I only get to get one of these in. So I, I decided to get the Xeon in just to have a look at the new Xeons anyway. Uh, but I would suspect because this Xeon here runs really good. This thing is like pretty much near silent. It does barely, it does spin its fan up, not by much. You barely hear it. And it runs like temperature wise, it runs pretty cold. Uh, so I'm very impressed by this new Xeon for sure. And of course, with the cooling in this, is it's going to be able to do its you know, maximum capacity as well, too. So that's one thing I've noticed in this position 7760 i'm going to be really really want to see when i open the 7560 with the i7 in that one there i like to see how that runs i'm expecting even maybe even better scores than i'm ex coming from this 5000 series uh, sorry the precision 5000 series anyway so i'm expecting some better scores uh, because i do suspect it's got quite a lot of thermal throttling anyway so uh you know so if you're in the market this is just to help a lot of people out is if you're in the market for a precision and if you're trying to decide between an i7 to an i9 if it's a precision 5000 series go with the i7 don't even worry about the i9 it's going to thermal throttle pretty bad uh, considering some of the performance scores i'm getting from the uh, 5760 which should be a bigger to get even better thermals out of it uh, it hasn't even beat the i7 in the 5560 so just to let you know now as for the 7000 series that's a different story uh, that one there i am going to have a look when i get this i7 out to have a look how much performance it does increase but if you do get the i7 sorry i7 versus i9 in the 7000 series i suspect that i9 should perform a lot better and should be the i7s um, that's my my thoughts because of the thermals able to be able to do it that's pretty much it so yeah but i do find these new ice these new tiger lake h processors they still run hot um those hit those that 90 degree thermal limit pretty quick um so that's one thing but overall once it hits that thing it's running hot wise like touching the, the keyboard on the 5000 series is gonna be hot because just there's not much room to push them out in a way uh, so it, it still runs hot so yeah um anyway oh what all up i'm just gonna have a quick uh have a look at what you guys are right down now oh yeah sorry the other thing i've noticed as well too in the 5000 series oh sorry in the 7760 this is something new i didn't know about it because i didn't really read the spec sheet i just glossed over it uh one of the guys on my 7760 did comment on this that this is something new i didn't realize and i actually have it in this one here too is the 7760 on the 4k display it goes to 120 hertz refresh rate uh so it's like a gaming basically a gaming display screen which is really cool now i've got that in this one here so i'll put that in the review video the other thing that they also said uh i didn't actually uh, look at it uh because i did it didn't come up on the spec sheet and i like the fast deal about it is it accepts pretty much gaming ram well xmp ram so you get better latency so you can upgrade these with um with better latency so basically faster ram uh, so i didn't know about that uh something i didn't know that was a hidden thing uh so yeah that's something just to let you know about the 7760 now i don't know about the 7560 i have to see if there's any hidden things that they have done to that one there or not uh, i'm gonna have a look at the spec sheet before i upgrade so i can tell you guys that in the review uh, in the unboxing video all right so yeah all right let's have a look what do we got here uh let's uh, look at what i'm up to for these things here uh is it 60 hertz yeah it's all 60 hertz for the full hds they're not anything more than 60 hertz so that's one reason why when i I actually had this i didn't look it was a 4k i didn't realize it was a 4k as well too uh but even if it's 4k i usually just see 60 hertz that's business class 60 hertz you don't really see much higher than that usually anyway so uh when they when i saw the 120 hertz i was like oh okay something different all right okay uh let's have a look where are we up to you surprised uh you surprised me disappoint yeah I, I i was surprised and i was disappointed as well to see the, the thermals on the 5000 series was just that bad uh are they leds no they're probably led uh leds i think they are i don't think they're early uh, so ips's um so 
I don't know if the LEDs, I'll have to read about it. Anyway, so yeah, I uh, agree. I've got the 1145G7 Tiger Lake Dell and it rips. I'm going to tell you the Tiger Lake uh, 11, well, basically the G7 series, they don't compete against the Tiger Lake H processors. The Tiger Lake H processors are about twice this performance and I'm I'm sorry to say, at the moment, if you're in the performance game and you need the performance, I would only look at the Tiger Lake H processors uh, or the Ryzen 9. Uh, actually, why, why am I actually going to talk about that? Let me have a look. Uh, I've got it running around, and I, I really shouldn't show it because I, I've got, I've got, um, I've been lent uh, because I wanted to actually have a look at is the new is the Ryzen 5. Uh, so it's a Ryzen 5 50, I think it's a 56, I can't remember what it is, I think it's a 56, I'm oh sorry, 5600 and something uh, U processor. It's a, it's a one of the new mobile 5000 chips from the AMD for the Ryzen 5, because I've done a Ryzen 7, I haven't, I haven't done a Ryzen 7, I've done a Ryzen 9, uh, but I haven't done a Ryzen 5 with the mo mobile 5000 chip on it. And I'm going to have to tell you straight off, because I'm just doing the quick benchmarks now, I'm liking as well. It actually beats the i7 Tiger Lake um, processor as well too. Not the Tiger Lake H processor, but the, all the Tiger Lake um, processors. So the i7, 11, whatever, so 45 or 65 or 85 G7s, uh, it will beat all that. So if you've got the ability to buy a Ryzen 5 5000 mobile chip, that's probably the one to get. Uh, but unless you want you know the extreme performance then go for tiger lake h processor or the ryzen 9 um they're around about similar anyway so just let you know um so i am going to try and see if i can get uh, a good one that's not an engineering sample at the moment so that will be nice to actually see i'm i'm asking you know for it uh, so i can actually do the review so you guys can see um how well it does and i can tell you that ryzen 5 in there runs so cool you can pretty much run this at full max and you can pretty much just touch the keyboard no problems at all uh it is it is it pretty much blows my mind how well uh, the thermals are on amd for it for sure all right okay um no way the 60 hertz are quite slow should have a 144 yeah, yeah i know uh the 144 actually in truth i haven't really played with the 144 hertz i don't see it because in the business world oh i don't know I don't know if you would say a lot of people in the business world will actually have 144 or 120 uh, hertz. Uh, but I know in the gaming world we do, in the personal world you probably can go up high, but a lot of businesses, the big large businesses, they don't even get anything like that for that. So um, that's just my experience. And, and thanks for joining me as well too. And g'day Mike as well too. All right, let's have a look. Oh, the, okay. That's a, yeah, it's a tank. It's huge. The 7000 series is a tank. Uh, they're big and they they take a lot of weight as well too. So I'm expecting. How's oh yeah, the the 7560 is heavy as well too. Uh, can you get the 76 with the Ace 3000 and above? I think they can go up to the A4000. I don't think they can do the A5000. I have to check that up later in the when I check up the specs on that one there. Uh, but I do have. I can't remember what I spec that one with. I can't remember. I know it's all I know. Remember, it's the i7 in there, uh, but I think it might even be the T1200. I might put that one in there because I was wanted to see how the just the thermal difference between the um, Precision 5000 and the Precision 7000 goes anyway, so I can get uh, apples to apple sort of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, budget sturdy, long life under ninth. 50 950 now i'm thinking that's usd usdr i still like uh and i want to try and get this thing in uh the problem is is a lot of time to do with shipping and i'm finding different places from different uh from around the world uh, i heard some really nice stories from europe they're actually getting the shipping really quick here in australia it's awful um so budget wise like i said if you can get with the Ryzen 5000 chip, uh, I think anything with the Ryzen 5000 is good. Now, I had a play... Is that? No, that's the P-Series. That's the P-Series I've got over there. Uh, it's a Lenovo P-Series. Uh, but I think if you get the E-Series uh, with the new Ry uh, Ryzen 5000 chip, I would suspect that would be very good. So I think that would be the... ThinkPad E14 Gen 2 uh, AMD version. I would probably suggest that would be a very good budget one uh, if you can get 
you can be, if you can get a hold of it. Um, but I don't know if that is out yet or not. I haven't had a check actually. That's a good choice. Let's have a look. Is that out or not? Uh, I'm gonna have a look. I'm taking guess. Uh, let's have a look. Where is it? Uh, where are you from, Sheba? Are you from? I'm not sure. Let, why? 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 I'm finding that. I'm gonna actually want. I'm just going to the Lenovo site. Is the ThinkPad E14? Well, about E14. Is that out yet or not? I'm gonna have a look because I'm interested to see if it did. I want to. I want to get my hands on one uh, because the E14 Gen One surprised me very well. AMD version. So, uh, where is it? E series. They're so hard to find. E series, uh, and it's not in every country, unfortunately. Uh, oh, Gen. Sorry, Gen three. So it's Gen three. They're up to Gen three now. On that one, it is. It is out. It's cool, and they got a nice one special at the moment too. Nice. I would look into that one there if you can get the ThinkPad E fourteen Gen three AMD version. Go for that. Um, so I think that might be within your budget there for 950. Uh, it's not the lightest thing, but you don't really want some of the best lightest things. Isn't the fastest thing, but it re but it also depends on what you're trying to do, as well. So long life because I like think pads. They just last for a long time. Uh, that's quite simple as that. That's that's what I was reading from your uh, what your constraints are. But I don't know what your what are you doing, um, what kind of applications you're running as well too. Uh, what's with the Dell precision for the uh, for the XPS and precision looking the same aside from the color and also GPU. This seems to be the trend between the two laptops. Actually, you'll find a lot of, well, XPS, they still classify as a business class laptop, even though it's a consumer, but so but the precision range is just because of the fact that you can configure it a little bit more uh, and also have you know a few more options in there with you know, the CPU, sorry, CPU is the same. Well, besides the Xeon, you can get Xeon in there. Uh, and also the GPU is difference there. And of course the color change, and all. but yeah, but uh, overall, I think they still classify the XPS as a business class, even though it's consumer. So it's a bit of borderline, um, but yeah, I, I'd like to see a little bit more difference between, I was hoping, and they do share the same chassis, but uh, don't be surprised. A lot of other manufacturers do the same thing where they're, they do share chassis between the consumer range and the business class range as well too. So, and they just change it for a few configurations and also just give it a bit more sturdiness as well as adding a lot more uh, business class security to it, like TPM, so TMP chips, uh, as well as crew board and all our funky stuff as well too. Uh, and also vPro uh, or uh, in the AMD cases, Pro in a way. So, that is some some of the things that you will get in the business class range in a way. So yep, uh, I assume the design cell perhaps it looks great. Yeah, it does. It does look. It looks like a Mac, and I think that's one of the things I get a lot of questions. Uh, not questions. A lot of requests. Is, Can we buy Macs? And uh, I don't like Macs uh, at the moment. Uh, but they like the look of it, and at least this kind of gives a bit of a Mac feel. But it's got a Windows base in a way. So the XPS are great. I love the screens on them because it's got really nice edge edge display in a way so yeah uh let's have a look uh andy uh yep 60 hertz is standard at our work yep that's pretty much standard in most a lot of um, uh, a lot of workplaces have 60 hertz is a standard um big organizations don't really get more than 60 hertz unless you got a very particular type of work that you guys do that do require the higher than 60 hertz uh, but most of the time 60 hertz you'll find a lot of business monitors are just 60 hertz they don't even look at any more than 60 hertz so yeah you enjoy my all my review thank you very much i have got a lot of lenovo's reviews i've got a lot of um, lenovo unboxings as well but i know other channels have done that so i'm not actually going to push them very quickly through my channel but i've done i've filmed them all anyway um so i have got them uh, i've got all the a lot of the uh, think pads in at the moment i am trying to request some of the think pad E range because uh, I know they've just had a bit of a refresh with the new Tiger Lake H processor uh, and it's really and I like I'll, I seriously do say I like the new Tiger Lake H processor um, seeing some of the scores and they're consistent to scores too as well so it's not just a one-off thing from the things anyway so I'm liking it now uh, let's have a look there's something about the matte black Lenovo does yeah actually I like <laughs> I do like it as well too um I well it depends on what you want as well too I I, I find the Lenovo 
black and also the material they use seems to last a little bit longer over time it doesn't get that stickiness that some of the carbon fiber weave coating now i've been told i've been told i can't remember which one it was uh one of the p the new p1 i think it's a new p1 that has a naked uh carbon fiber uh rather than having a coating over the carbon fiber uh it's a naked carbon fiber uh so and that's going to be sweet because one of the gripes i have with the carbon fiber even though it looks nice is after about well, depending on how long, about two to three years that coating becomes very sticky over time uh, and, and I guess over here in where I live in Brisbane uh, maybe because of the humidity for it and also the heat that it comes out so yeah uh, but that's what I wrote uh, just to let you know but are you guys a fan of the carbon fiber uh, or not uh, that's my thoughts and my for what my experience is it does look good just over time it doesn't last that long but i'm hoping the naked version the naked carbon fiber weave may actually do very well anyway just like the cars do anyway so yeah uh how good is the keyboard on the precision 7760 it's about the same as last year now uh okay um is that um m2 is that how you i'm not sure how you pronounce your name uh but uh it hasn't changed it's the, pretty much the same as last year model uh these yeah, it's nothing different about it. That's literally nothing different about it from last year. These are very sturdy and Drew really is good. Um, and if they die, just you get them under warranty because usually you buy these things under warranty for about four to five years. Anyway, if you're not purchasing warranty for these things, that's costing like you know quite, quite expensive. These things like this one here, I don't even know how. I think this one's maybe about seven to eight k uh, for this particular model because of what I've got it configured with. Uh, but yeah, you would be buying warranties on these things here, especially just go and you'll be buying on site warranties on it. So uh, I wouldn't be w too worried about the keyboard. These things are built to last, though, and they're very durable there. So uh, overall, for the key travel, it's still got quite, it's actually a lot in terms of um, noise wise, they're actually quite quiet and they've got a bit of spongy feel to it rather than the nice, um, more of a click sort of bounce back to, uh, as much as the think pads i still like the think pads um, overall the dells or generally that's just generally that's just me because of my taste of keyboards i like the mechanical art like i have uh, actually not in this one here uh, but i personally like the cherry keys anyway i love the sort of typewriter keys uh feel to it anyway so yeah and i right, uh, will just keep on rocking on uh can you tell me about the build quality of the 3560 because the 556 is the same configure as 11 as more okay the build quality of the 3560 3560 is pretty much like the latitude range for build quality it's pretty much plastic all around whereas the uh 70 sorry 55 60 it's all aluminium i had to double check that out uh, because it's not written in the specs and i had to really give it a feel i kind of try to not scratch it as well too but it, that's aluminium all around just like last year anyway so it depends on what you like do you like aluminium or plastic for me i personally like uh i know aluminium looks nice but overall generally in use wise i like the plastic uh because they're just more durable and i'm not one who's very careful on my gear even my camera gear as well too i've dropped it many times so for me uh when they drop and uh, and damage i find plastics are a lot more durable than aluminium because they scratch a lot easier and also and that's also one of the reasons uh, one i like thing about the lenovo's is they're made of this magnesium alloys so it's a bit in between the whole plastic and aluminium they take a fair bit of bending i think one of the videos i kind of someone said I, I i scratched it uh, when i hit i actually hit my um uh monitor uh arm holder anyway uh and i and yeah the, it it just went meh nothing uh because aluminium i you know it takes a lot of beating just like plastic does uh but if it was aluminium uh definitely it would have probably got a scratch or dent in the way so well in the 3560 i think the build quality is pretty good uh it, it pretty much is like the latitude like the latitude if you ever seen the latitudes they're pretty much build quality they built the last they they're like you know higher cars is what i call it uh they're built to like pretty much go between different hands in a way so uh build quality is good the hinge wise it's not bad it's pretty good uh i don't think it, it's like outstanding i didn't think it was bad neither so for me it was pretty good uh so didn't say anything bad for it so yeah uh g'day Hannah, how are you doing i'm doing good as well too hope you are doing well as well uh, g'day patrick how's it going good to see you guys in uh lenovo let's have a look it's this one here are you laptops yep 
Cool. I'm not sure. Yeah, I had a check. I just had a check on the to see the E series, and I just joined. Love you. Thank you very much, Shiva. Nice to see you. Why is the XPS 15 cheaper than the Precision 5560? Because they're exactly the same, the same configuration. <clears throat> Now, uh, not they're not the same configuration. Uh, uh, one of the reasons why they may be cheaper is because the GeForce discrete graphics is usually cheaper than the quad roll um, production cards. Uh, well, not cards. This is not a card. It's a chip. Um, so normally the quad rolls are more expensive than the GeForce range. Uh, so you, that's probably the reason why you see the XPS 15 is cheaper, uh, and hence why they try and market it more for the small, the small businesses or the consumer range because they don't really normally run the quad rolls anyway. So that's the reason why you see it more, um, uh, yeah, XPS. 15. Uh, cheaper in a way so i'm hoping that helps you there um dive man uh, but i have noticed also uh this has actually come up a few times as well i have noticed the position range has a little bit better build quality compared to the xps uh, 15 uh, well not just the 15 but the 13 as well too uh so Actually, did they, wait, no, they never made the precision um, uh, 13 inch uh, version of this. So the XPS 15 and the precision 55,000 series, they I have noticed it's got a little bit better build quality for it because I didn't have a trackpad issue. I've, and I've gone through a fair number of, of the precision 5550s. Um, this is the 5560. So I and I never had a trackpad issue with the 5550. So uh, and I did hear a lot of bad stories from all of the different videos about the trackpad of the Precision 55. Sorry, XPS 9500. Uh, yeah, 9500. So I didn't have any issues with the trackpad at all. So uh, I guess also better build quality for that sort of thing. There. Right. So yes, uh, looking for Lenovo. Uh, sorry, ThinkPad just for Linux. Yeah, there's a lot actually. I've, um, so I was just playing um, the one I've got over there, which is the Ryzen 5, um, which is a ThinkPad at the moment. It had Linux on it, so I'm putting Windows on it. So you find a lot of the ThinkPads will have Linux um, drivers that so you can install, no problems at all. Can I buy the uh, was a, a ThinkPad X, a X1 Extreme Gen 4? Did I? Yeah, I had the, G, X, I had the um, Gen 4 in our, all the P1 Gen, uh, Gen 4. Now, that's that one I was looking at, the P1 Gen 4. I'm interested in that one there. I am very interested in that one there. Uh, from, oh, no, I don't have them, unfortunately. If you, uh, or a lot of the computers, after I finish reviewing them, they get sent back to their manufacturer. So Lenovo goes back to Lenovo, Dell goes back to Dell, you know, or the, whatever I get it from, they go back to there. Uh, and I would name, if I say thank you to Intel or thank you to AMD, that's when they go back to those um, those companies as well. So I don't get to keep any of these, so you can't really buy it from me anyway. So yeah. Um, I am India and I will be around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry there. I can't help you out there, Diamond. Uh, more than likely, the so Patrick is uh, most likely they're using an external keyboard anyway. Yeah, I, I run most of the time external uh, through docking stations. Anyway, I did ask Lenovo about this something about Lenovo about the P17 and the P4, so 15 as well. Actually, no, the P15 didn't exhibit the problem, uh, but I know the Lenovo X1 Extreme Gen 4 and Gen 3 ex exhibit this problem here, where the old, no, I wouldn't say old, uh, it still is the current one, is the Lenovo uh, Thunderbolt 3 Gen 2 dock isn't able to power, isn't able to supply enough power to the laptops because of the GPU just running because they usually have at least about 175, I think it's 175 watts uh, or the 235 watts, they have those weird numbers from Lenovo um, and, the, and the Lenovo Gen 2 dock uh, is only able to supply up to 35 watts. Uh, so you still need to plug in your supply power adapter into those things to still charge it up else it's just a battery drain uh, i've been told that they're bringing out a new dock um that, so be look on the lookout for it is the lenovo uh thunderbolt 
free gen free dock now that one should be able to supply i think it is they did say to me 175 watts so it should be able to power those ones i don't know if it'll be able to power the p17 i like to get a hold of the p17 uh, i'm going to still request it out uh, so do do on a be on the lookout for the new lenovo dock um, i didn't see it on the website but i do know about that's coming out sometime soon anyway so be a look out now also for the dell docks whether they got now the wd19 uh well s version or tbs uh, and the only difference between those ones and the ones that i review is it doesn't have a headphone jack and that's about it and i think it's because of the shortage of that particular part is the reason why they didn't actually bring in the uh the headphone jack kind of sad i have to say uh, I still use the headphone jack. I'm not sure if any guys use the headphone jack. I, I do anyway. So I did tell them it would be nice to still put in the headphone jack in uh, because they're still charging the same similar money to it. Okay, uh, plastic versus aluminium. I do not mind scratches on plastic. I uh, just fear whether plastic are less durable or will they easily break. No, they actually take a lot more damage. They can take a lot more beating than aluminium, I can definitely tell. Aluminium dents very quickly. Uh, with plastic, it takes a lot more. And when they do, they, then they crack in a way. Uh, but, you know, you'll get more dents, way more dents. Uh, and there's probably some very serious dents before uh, the plastic cracks in a way. So just to let you know. Uh, what is your opinion on the looks and cool factor of the Precision 7760? Uh, do you think it looks good? Would you prefer to the ThinkPads? Uh, okay. This does not look cool. <laughs> no. Uh, no. You're just talking about the, the look look factor. Okay. okay. So for me, these precision range, they look like a brick. I can tell you that. They look like a brick. They do have this nice sort of like very professional, simple, grey aluminium look to it which is nice i have to say that is nice if you're walking into uh you know a boardroom uh, or a you know, cafe and you bring something like this this is not bad because this means you're serious there for business you're not here to you know fancy up something out uh, very quickly the lenovo range with the p series uh that one there or the uh even well i think even the x1 um extremes and p1s uh actually they look good as well too but i i think just the color change uh between black and this sort of aluminium i think when you hit aluminium you look more premium uh, and that's that's just a look thing for me oh between the two overall i still think this would look more better uh, even though it looks boring, I think this may look a bit more better. Uh, yeah, but I think this is way more thicker than the P1 or the Extreme. It's just really thick. You can see how thick this is. Uh, it's not. It's not skinny any factor at all. So let me let me try and see if I can bring in uh, uh, another one in. Uh, oh, I've got here something. Here's a, here's a here's a latitude. Here's a latitude here. I'm gonna see if I can show this sort of next to each other. This is just, and that's just a thick laptop already. This is the old uh, one as well too. See if I can, oh, I don't want to drop that. Okay, let's have a look. Can you kind of see how thick that is? Yeah. So the bottom is pretty much this whole entire thing of this. Uh, so it's it's thick, and I'm taking against the 7560 is going to be very similar in thickness wise as well too. They're just thick. Uh, and it's heavy. You know, like it's something like you walk in, you know you're in serious business. You're, you're, I'm here to you know, really present you properly technicalities. I'm not here to actually show you just some BSing around as well too. So overall, I think these are good. Uh, the Lenovo's are thinner than, than the Precision range. I can tell you that. But which is also one of the things I think maybe the Precision range generally have a little bit better in terms of heat um, dissipation. So overall i think maybe it might be good uh with the oh just the look back there maybe this is just more serious that's all uh but yeah what do you think about that i'd like to know your thoughts on that one there as well uh p1 max q graphics no good oh is it p1 is it i right, let me have a look ps ref was um down last night so i couldn't actually have a look at it uh i didn't realize um right ps ref i didn't realize the p1 now which which one are you talking about the p well, hold on a second. Uh, which one are you talking about? P1 Max Q Graphics. 
Ooh, P1 Max Q. I thought they because they are they're not G forces. They are all unless I know. I do know they actually have um, the G force. 3080 and the 3070 card in there, but I don't know if they're the Max Q, so I'm gonna have a quick look. Uh, I'm gonna have a look on the PS Ref to see if that is because that is interesting. Uh, what is a P1 Gen 4? Is that one Max Q or not? Let's have a look. I am very interested to see this because uh, if I write this down, I'll never remember to actually do it. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say it's a max Q or not. Normally they do say if it is a max Q, so I don't know. Uh, max Q, okay. P1 max Q graphics. I don't think it may not be. Normally they do list it out that it's a max Q. Uh, that was GeForce 3080 and the 3070. It doesn't have a max Q at the end of it. Now as for the... RTX 4A series range. No, they don't have anything for that neither. So until I get one in, I don't know if I'll be able to get one in uh, this year. That is, so we'll find out. Uh, I'll tell you later on. I can then confirm to you. G'day, Lawrence. Good to see you join me. Uh, P14S Gen 2 AMD delivery is November 2021. Actually, at least you can get it in. Uh, I'll, while we're at it, I'll just let you know. Uh, I might as well show it to you guys anyway. Just give me a sec. Uh, Lawrence, I do have the that have that particular model, which is this one here. So that's the P14S Gen 2 AMD here. I've got it as an engineering sample. Uh, but yeah, so this one here is doing really well, and I say it's very good. If you can order some in, they are very good uh, in just the poor. Even the Ryzen 5 is really good. If you can get the Ryzen 7, I don't know if they can come with the Ryzen 9. If you can get the, even the Ryzen 7 should be pretty good and performed. Ryzen 9, of course, gets you way up there. Uh, but the Ryzen 5 will save you a fair bit of money as well too. So I know you just joined me a little bit later. I'd said that in early in the stream anyway. So yeah, uh, at the moment, I'm just, I'm midway of testing it out and I'm liking it. I'm really liking the heat on it is not much there. Uh, it is really good. So you can give to a lot of your clients uh, without complaining that it's running crazy hot anyway. So yeah, very good computer. Uh, what's the best looking laptop in your opinion you have tested? <laughs> you know what? In the end, I was a Mac guy. The MacBook, old MacBooks still have that nice, just sleek, simple look to it. Now, as for, actually, the other ones that looked really nice, and I, and I used to game, and I have to say the Alienware computers, but I'm also liking some of the consumer range. Like, I've seen some of these new Asus ones. They look pretty sweet as well, too, but nothing in particular uh, that really pops up to mind. For business class-wise, I still think, I, I understand why people love the MacBooks. Uh, they do look that really really nice premium simple uh clean look to it uh, but you sacrifice a lot of functionality for it so uh if you're just purely looking at looks wise and anyway, so i'm a bit of a more functionality person than looks in a way these days anyway so yeah um xps 15 95 10 versus precision 3060 51 uh almost the same config for this 4k display which would you prefer $500 cheaper. Oh, what are you doing, uh, Diamond? What's, um, what is your applications? And then I'll be able to tell you which one I would kind of give you an idea on. Anyway, because both thermal throttle, uh, one thermal throttle is worse than another, and also it depends on what you kind of do as well too, because they do have, uh, the XPS has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio display. I like that. Uh, whereas the 3561 is a 16 by 9. It depends on the application you run. Speaker-wise, the XPS, of course, has better speakers, and the trackpad, oh... I'm not a big fancy on the massive, 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 massive trackpad that they've got. Uh, I did come from Mac, and that was massive enough, but that was now it's gone beyond massive for the XPS range. Uh, 3560 has got a very good trackpad, I have to say. Now, as for the keys, uh, I prefer the keys on the 3561 or 3560, because they're both going to be the same. Uh, so it all depends on your display. Uh, oh, I mean application itself. You know, so, yep. Uh, Precision 7760 looks versus the TP, uh, sorry, uh, TLP 1517P. They look like bricks, yeah, they looks like bricks. When you get to the workstation class, 
uh, mobile workstation like they all look bright bricks they all pretty much sticking away but at least you know they actually perform uh, you're not really out there for 100 percent looks you're there for performance so in the end if you're having to decide between the two and serious in all seriousness i if you're in a if you're in a market for those two it's really about my my thoughts is, is about five things actually five things performance is going to be your key number one second is going to be warranty uh is my second thing how good warranties can you get on that one there third uh is pretty much uh pretty much the ports because it's functionality um and then i would then look at the looks um uh, but really i would probably put weight more than looks anyway uh because you'll be moving around so these things are more in terms of your functionality more than actually the looks itself uh that's my thoughts anyway um, patrick uh i don't know if you agree or not uh for me but yeah but yeah definitely warranties is right up there because if you don't have these things these things are built to die uh but as if you can't get these things up and going because that you know when these things are down time costs money uh, because these are business computers and they're not you know consumers and stuff like that so i'd love to hear your thoughts as well too patrick uh eagerly waiting for your 30 uh, 50 yeah i'll try and put that out as soon as possible for you mate uh okay i don't think you are carrying around these types of laptops much yes they are portable they're not really yeah they're, they're not something you want to carry around often i think i do know some people do carry these things around day in day out, and i don't think they even uh ride cycle if you're cycling uh with one of these things uh like if you're a cyclist that goes to work i know because here in australia we're getting more people cycling to work uh i would go with the Lenovo's because they're a little bit lighter than the Precision's uh, and that's that's quite simple as that. Uh, weight is a big thing, that's why I said that was probably number four on my list, then the looks, uh, so that. Uh, okay, a bit of an odd question, should a student own a Dell Precision or a decent spec gaming laptop? Will do. Uh, now, I'm taking guess you're doing either CAD work or 3D work. Uh, I would say go with a gaming laptop and this is the reason why because that will be cheaper for you you don't really need those uh the quadro cards in there i think if it won't because they are going to be costing you quite a lot of money uh between the two if you want to try and get the same performance uh you don't need that stability factor because you're, you're only a student you're not really on uh you don't mind spending a little bit extra time on critical projects and stuff like that which you probably want quadros to have that error checking to help you out so uh, as a student i i always tell students to actually look into the gaming computers because you can do you can still play games on it which you are a student after, after all and you're not on mission critical and time factor as well too i think you just got to go look at your assignments but it's all right but uh if you're in paid if you're getting paid to actually do these projects then i would definitely look into positions um but by then you'll be earning money so that will actually pay for the, the computer itself so yeah positions for if you're a professional working in professional if you're a student go for gaming laptop and that's kind of what i'm starting to do a little bit more on the high end just to help you guys out as well too uh edwin depends on what you wanted yep uh i wonder how long this uh two years <laughs> two years i don't know uh it's gonna take a little bit of time we've still got we've still got to deal with uh COVID, um as well too uh, i think silicon shortage is gonna be for a while anyway i don't expect any of the computers and stuff to get any better for the next two years i'm quite simple as that uh, uh, even after silicon shortage then it's just slowly flows to other stuff as well too so yeah please kindly do a review on the position 7760 and tell us the battery life especially the xeon's benchmarks yeah i will do that uh i can tell you that the precision 7000 series in, even in the past the battery life if you're running these things really hard expect 45 minutes to about an hour <laughs> that's about it don't expect anything longer than that if you're running these things super hard if you put it in battery saving mode you'll be lucky to get about three hours uh and that's i'm not going to expect the tiger lake h processor to be any better in terms of power wise um especially even the a um series quadro a series i don't expect it to be any better than the previous um gen in terms of power they're just increasing power more than decreasing it so 
Uh, and they haven't really put a bigger battery in that, so I'm thinking it will be about that. So 45 to 3 hours is my expected battery life on these big workstation class. They're not really designed to work purely on power anyway, so more than likely you actually just plug this computer to main power. Uh, so hopefully that helps you out. P14, how noise is it? Uh, P14, now this uh, P14 that I've got here, P14S AMD, this one here, practically makes no noise that much probably about 36 decibels uh, on my new decibel meter I was actually, I was actually measuring that how, how loud it was so around about 36 or so uh, I haven't done a full test on it so I am in a bit of a noisy environment as well too so around about 36 decibels I didn't hear it, it did flow a little bit of fan uh, but barely barely any much at all so good I really do recommend it it's really good uh, I want to try and get a uh, proper unit so I can actually do a review for it. Mac versus ThinkPad, highest configs, business use, your choice. Oh, I've used both. Okay, personally, it depends on what you want to do. It's all, and I always keep saying this, all to do with the applications you run. If you run applications that have Mac uh, native compatibility, Macs are very nice in terms of battery life. Um, and I'd definitely say the M1 is fast, it's not slow, it's not a sluggish at all. And if you're thinking about the ThinkPad, I would go and I'll, even any of the ones anyway. So, uh, I would either do the AMD or the Tiger Light H processor uh, for, for raw speed, so both the speed wise overall. And then now it comes down to displays, display wise. I prefer having a touch screen. I'm, I'm enjoying touch screens. So I wish Macs have touch screens. They don't have touch screens. And secondly, uh, I like the ThinkPad keyboards way more. I hate the, the, the Mac keyboards is rubbish. Just no, I can't I can't help it out. It's rubbish. Even the new version of it, still rubbish. Um, and as for the trackpads, I used to say the Mac trackpads are king. I'm not a fancy on this just sort of um Oh, what do they call it force feedback trackpads i'm not a fancy on it so i'm gonna say now that windows trackpads are way better uh i don't like the the force feedback i have once you error out on a mac that force feedback does nothing to help you out it's it's sad because it's all software driven as well too um so if you're in for battery life the macs are king i can't i can't say that's they just run very, very well um, with the ARM chip anyway. Uh, but for everything else, ThinkPad. That, that's the, and also, warranty-wise, is a big thing. Apple warranty suck. <laughs> I wish they had on-site warranties. Uh, that's quite simple uh, that anyway. So hope that helps you out. Rick says, Hamza, yeah. Performance upgraded ports. I uh, also ports as well too. Ports are way better in the ThinkPads than uh, the Macs. Uh, warranty sounds top five for work. Yep. Yeah. Performance, upgradability, yes, upgradability is, a, is, actually, I didn't think about that. It's good on you, Patrick, for telling me that. Uh, ports, warranty, and sound. Yep, yep, that's that's good. Does position lineup last longer? Uh, how, sorry, does the Dell position lineup last long? What do you mean by that? I don't understand what that, uh, does the Dell position lineup last longer? Sorry, I, I don't understand that one there. Can you um, explain that a little bit more? That'd be great. Thanks a lot for X, what's it, X3... 310, no, sorry, 300 uh, owner, which could actually X3 owner. So I'm taking it as the laptop owner, but I don't know which particular class that is. Uh, all right, thank you. Uh, and when employed, uh, wait, and when employed, company may buy it anyway, or at least it's uh, taking up. Battery life for all of these mobile workstations are terrible. Yep, that's correct. Uh, I think you just accept those things there as well, too. Uh, Patrick, uh, uh, P14S Gen 2 Intel, which I got instead is quiet when set to the battery best battery life yeah it's quiet still these the gen uh the just the normal tiger lake uh they do run pretty quiet as well too so i'm not a big you know massive hater of it the 11th gen is way better than the 10th gen i can tell you that uh but in terms of performance wise the 11th gen just the g7 series is a little bit better but not that much better than the 10th gen uh, but as for the Tiger Light H processor, that's nearly double the speed, you know, nearly double. So I would say 80%. 80% percent faster. It's a huge difference um, for performance-wise. Anyway. So if you're looking for performance-wise, the Tiger Light H processor is quite simple as that. Uh, but if you're looking for battery life and also uh, heat factor, then look at the G7 series. Anyway. So it's kind of cool. 
Uh, let's have a look where I'm up to. Uh, thanks, Clyde is good. Yep, it's all uh, right. Uh, battery life, four to five hours. Yeah. I was all been asking Intel also about the Evo, um, because the, with the certification for Evos, uh, they, you need to get nine hours out of, uh, of the battery life. And you see my results for a lot of them. Some of them don't even hit those nine hours, but I do run differently to them. So I want to find out from Intel, find out, uh, what do they get that nine hours from and what do they run? Uh, so yeah, just to let you know, anyway, but yeah. Uh, awesome, thank you for the question question there. Yep, thanks a lot. Uh, yep, no, fan noise, it's okay. Set the best battery life and work away. Still plenty of fast and no, yeah. A lot of the normal tasks, uh, office tasks, like productivity, like like Excel and, and Word and all the emails and even the browser and stuff like that. Your typical, uh, would I say i3? Nah, i3, yeah, i3s would still be fine. i5s are fine, i7s and i, uh, i7s do run a little bit hotter. Uh, so I would actually, as a sweet spot for a lot of the, you know, your normal office type of productivity work, i5s and the Ryzen 5s are fantastic processors to like put in and they're also the cost as well too they're really really good anything a little bit more performance than the I'll go for the i9s sorry i7s uh, I, I don't think i would ever touch the i9s until they until you got a very big system like something like the you know Presusion 7000 series then you can go with i9s else i would just stick with the i7s anyway uh ryzen 9s is a different story that's actually quite good even it's able to handle the heat a lot better too as well too um so uh, go with the i uh, Ryzen nines and also the i sevens anyway. So just to let you know, I'm using the Precision fifty fives forty. They're good computers still. I like them because they've got all the ports. Uh, these new Precisions, uh, I, I mean the Precision fifty five fifty and the fifty five sixty. I miss having the HDMI port. I just wish they made it a little bit thicker, bring back the HDMI port, uh, especially it will be fantastic for uh, a lot of business work where they take it to uh, do presentations on uh, projectors and that. that's that's very common. So something, having to carry a dongle is, is a bit of annoyance there as well too. So yeah, uh, let's have a look. Uh, let me, sorry, I missed, <laughs> I've read the first part and didn't read the second part. Use USB-C to link all of the Dell Docs uh, display. Sometimes the display is lagging out along with the new Windows update is it possible to update and sell the docs? You know what? I actually noticed the same thing. Um, I noticed there's a little bit of lag between because uh, I run the WD19 um, TV doc. Uh, I've run it on the WD19 as well too, so I run both. Uh, and I've also noticed on um, now I when I had the Dell Precision 5550, I haven't been running this 5560. I have been uh, on on the uh, displays i think it was a 4k display it's when it gets to 4k i've noticed there's a little bit of lag uh for the cursor and mouse but then again i no no i'm actually running a usb mouse as well too so that shouldn't give me a but i've noticed it runs a little bit laggy behind um so that's something i should i know it's been nagging me to actually go look at and see what's causing the issue um but yeah so something i i noticed as well too so i, I don't have a solutions for you because it's something i it's in the back of my head to actually do and i've got so much to do with that i just lived with the the lag uh for it but um that's all no I've, i'm running a wireless um mouse for the 5560 at the moment so and i've noticed a little bit of lag and i'm thinking i'm going to blame it on the mouse uh but i'm not sure anyway so uh, I've done bias updates on this already, so I've noticed. Normal pluses aren't an issue. It's stuff like the analysis of large data. Yeah, data, large data sets. So that's what I think that's what I've been trying to help you guys out with that, large data sets and RAM stuff like that. Uh, I'm talking happy for it to take a bit longer if the fan noise is, is lower. Yep. Uh, okay, yep, yep. So, yeah, no, well, some people like don't mind having, a, I think it'd be nice if you can set it. Uh, at a certain speed, uh, uh, a certain RPM speed would be nice if you could override. Uh, but I'd test those in what they come with because if you do find a particular software that actually can change the fan speed, not everyone does that. Uh, I just want to test it out for the general use anyway. So uh, that's pretty much all I can do is trying not create too many uh that's kind of thing also why i don't overclock a lot of the computers as well even though i can i don't overclock the computers because i rather keep them as out of the box experience or well, not out of the box experience, but something that should come standard with whatever you can configure 
uh, from it. So I'll have a quick look at the software. So I know the Lenovo software pretty well. I know the Dells are pretty well. I'm having a play with the new, uh, sorry, the Asus software. I've just been playing with the cooling um, solutions on that. So that's something I've been playing with and learning that as well. Same with HP. I didn't know much about HP and I'm learning a bit of stuff about that as well too. So yeah. Uh, HMI ports all the way, yeah, don't buy, <laughs> I like HMI ports, it's such an important port, uh, I don't mind sacrificing a USB-C port, HMI port, uh, like I said, I don't mind sacrificing the thinness of things uh, for a HMI port as well too, I think HMI port is such an important thing in the business world. Uh, I think we can maybe, we can sort of slowly drop the Ethernet port, um, but the HMI port is something that's really, really annoying in a way. So uh, I still like to have the Ethernet port, but um, I still think the HMI port is a little bit more important than that to have than the uh, Ethernet port in a way. So yes. Uh, okay, large data set go. Which way? Oh, sorry, I've lost missed that. Uh, large data set go for the P1 Gen 4, the H series. Yeah, I'm interested to see. I'm really interested to see that one. I want to try and get one in. Lenovo Australia, so I can order, place order, yes, uh, and that's more reason why I'm trying to actually get one in, so I can do a review it. <laughs> I'm excited to see it as well too. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, use of better software, the right software can make all the difference and seen difference in performance of 10 times or 1000 times, yeah. I think that would be kind of cool, but yeah. But yeah, I did not know, uh, while I was talking to Lenovo, that I didn't know they had the 3080 and the 3070 cards in the P P1 Gen 4. I was a surprise move. Um, so uh, that would be fantastic anyway. G'day mate, how are you doing? Uh, I'm looking forward to this video and sadly it's way past my bedtime here in AOL. Sorry, I didn't know you were in, uh, in um, New Zealand. Which part of New Zealand? Anyway, I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit later anyway. So I'll, I'll let you ha head to sleep. It's good to see you as well too. Join me. Anyway, uh, I think how long I've been, I've been streaming for quite a long time, I think. You know? Why do I be, what is the time now? Holy crap, I've been over an hour. Sorry, guys. But yeah, if you guys have got any questions, uh, if not, I'll call it a night because I'm going to a few testing. I want to try and get this uh, 55, uh, sorry, 5760 video out and I'll try my best to edit that. I've got a few more things I'm trying to test out uh, as well. So I'm kind of, I wish I had clone myself a few times because I need to clone myself 11 times uh, I'm running 11 computers I'm trying to test out at the same time at the moment so and plus a video card I've got uh, I've got to test out anyway so yes uh, mad, mad Cata with a C ah there we go mad wait mad cattery with a C Ooh. Oops, cat, cat, okay. Uh, if you use open source R, uh, check out Microsoft R, formerly Revolution R for the common analogs. 10, ooh, okay, ooh, cram R would be intriguing. Ooh, okay, interesting. I haven't seen those for a while. I'm, I'm not very good at R or R Studio. I've heard of these things, I've heard these things anyway. So uh, I'm in south of the North Island. Okay, cool. So around actually i can't remember which part of that part is because uh, i think the north island was uh was sorry i've got a mental blank at the moment uh auckland down auckland was it taroga or something like that i can't remember there so yeah uh yeah i have been to new zealand i've been to new zealand about three times uh, i traveled to different parts of new zealand that's a beautiful country beautiful country it's kind of like i'm not i'm not trying to be biased or anything it's kind of like australia with all the crazy beautiful place but all compacted uh it's really i really love new zealand uh it's colder than what i'm used to but oh beautiful beautiful place anyway so if you get if anyone in the around the world go and try, visit visit new zealand it's a beautiful place there's so much to see uh, i love it anyway so yes uh it's a uh, Australia versus New Zealand Olympics female soccer is on. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, actually, is Olympics on? I didn't even realize. <laughs> I shouldn't actually watch it. I haven't had time to look. I haven't turned the TV on. It's quite simple as that. I haven't turned the TV on. Also, one thing I did, I just found out um, from my cousin is that uh, Brisbane, yay, we actually are going to host the Olympics in, was it 20. 23 is it not 23? 32. 32. Uh, 2032, Brisbane. Yeah. So the Brisbane's Olympics is coming to my city in about uh, 11 years, 11 years or 12, 12 years time. In 12 years time. How awesome is that? Uh, so for those that don't know Brisbane, well, you'll find out in about 12 years time where Brisbane is because uh, we're hosting the Olympics in 2032. How cool is that? So, yeah. 
Uh, that's uh, where we're we up to now. Uh, get back to the lockdown. Yeah, mate, gotta get back down to my lockdown. Oh my god. Sorry to hear your uh, lockdown. I'm hoping uh, we're staying clear because uh, we got a case that came up from Melbourne uh, in up in, in Queen, southeast Queensland. Right? So hope we don't get locked down uh, as well too. So uh, I'm a bit sad, but I feel sorry for all, all the Victorians and the New South Wales and now uh, South Australia for lockdown. Australia's a lot, half a lockdown already. South Sad, sad. Um, anyway, Wellington. What's it? We're down. At, I've been to Wellington. I had been there twice, and one time was beautiful weather. Uh, normally, it's very windy. That day did not have wind anyway. So yeah, uh, Taranga, about middle of North. There's off to the east. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to learn. I, I never actually got a drove around North Island. I spent most of my time more down in South Island. I visited some friends in uh, Auckland, uh, and I did a cruise two cruises to new zealand as well too so it was really nice i really did like it nice so it was a beautiful country uh fit for the middle yes uh 33 yep uh yes i've heard that you're oh you're in brizzy yes i am in brisby i am in brizzy it's a cool little town not really town it's a city <laughs> anyway uh anyway i might just call it a night because i'm gonna do back to get to work and testing oh, so much to do so much to do but at least you guys have a bit of idea on uh, the positions and i know uh, people are making decisions on positions uh, just to give you guys a bit of ideas of what that is for my testing right all right hope you guys have a fantastic night or day or day uh, or even good morning if you guys are different parts of the world um uh, yeah south island is gorgeous beautiful right <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I said, I went there twice because <laughs> I liked it so much. Uh, but yes, have a fantastic day or have a fantastic night and I'll catch you guys later. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next stream or video.